So, the biggest and most challenging issue is that mysticism is usually split down the middle and tossed into the science or religious categories. Curious? Cool. I was too. Example, you say? Sure, why not? Recognize this? That's meditation, and it's not actually as spiritual as you may have been told. Sure, it's definitely not scientific in nature, but putting it in the religious spiritual category is a pretty heavy overcorrection. Clear the mind, center yourself, get more focus. Meditation is a mental thing. Mysticism. Now, as far as science stealing mysticism's groove, You threw off my groove! There's many places you can still plainly see science's roots in, well, the unscientific. Let's look at a simple example, like chemical affinity. Okay, so what makes chemical affinity and chemical reactions do its dance? Let's take a look. Not only have many attempts been made at finding its origins, ooh, mysterious, but the majority of such attempts, however except in a general manner and in futility, since affinities lie at the basis of all magic, thereby predating science. Interesting. I didn't learn that in school. But hey, let's just slap a sciencey word on that bad boy and call it a day. Holy crap, look at the size of that spider! Your second challenge is that mysticism is an art, not a science, not a religion. It has no right answer and it's different for everybody. If you've noticed, our culture doesn't really usually like things that don't have a clear right or wrong answer. What's the BFD, man? Just like with most arts, you've got to get creative. And that takes us to our last point. You want to go on an exoteric journey, find yourself, and get back to crush life? Imagine, for me, a language you are trying to learn, but a language has different words for something. For me, then it does for you. Weird, right? Get ready to learn another language because this stuff can take a lifetime to figure out, or longer. You will have to try to learn as much as someone is trying to teach it. It's nasty stuff. So what about you? Have you struggled with the confusing nature of this stuff too? Or is there something that I glazed over that you're still curious about? Let us know and we're happy to answer it. And if you want to know more about the deal with these Gnostic things, watch this video. You stay aware of there.